Daddy, I skipped Latin. Oh, well, I can understand why you wouldn't want to learn about that. It's only the building block of our language. Freaks and Geeks actor Joe Flaherty has died. His daughter revealing his death following a brief illness. He was 82 years old. We got a scary one for you this week. It's that three-dimensional semi-classic, Dr. Tongue's House of Cats. The Canadian actor's fans know him best from SCTV, where Joe got laughs alongside Catherine O'Hara, Eugene Levy, and John Candy. Hey, this stuff looks a okay, huh? Yeah, it sure does. Well, I could try some mm, malt flavor and everything. And some Pepsi Cola with it? Hey! That's about the beans, all right? One of the sketch show's biggest fans was Adam Sandler. The two later butt heads in Happy Gilmore. Hey, Gilmore, you suck, you jackass. Why don't you shut the hell up? Adam writing in a tribute on Instagram, he worshipped Joe growing up. Could it be more fun to have him heckle me on the golf course? Jackass. Whoa, the club went further than the ball. A few years later, Joe returned to TV on the short-lived period dramedy Freaks and Geeks, which instantly earned a cult following thanks to Joe and his future A-list co-stars. You come home, and the last thing you need are kids, teenage kids. They're off in every direction. They're fighting. I had a friend that used to smoke. You know what he's doing now? He's dead. The best thing I can do is just scare the hell out of them. <laughs> there was a girl in our school. She had premarital sex. You know what you did on graduation day? Died of an overdose, heroin. Dad, are any of your friends alive? The smart ones. John Francis Daly, who played Joe's on-screen son, now paying tribute to his late co-star. Joe Flaherty made me crack up so hard it ruined takes. What a lovely guy.